Hey, this is CJ. I'm on the Shreveport Riverfront, Shreveport, Louisiana. And it's in the Northeast Louisiana. Uh, yeah, in the uh, United States. Uh, not that I need to say that because I don't know. <laughs> I, don't, I don't have uh, international uh, followers or anything like that. Not here. I do on my on my poetry side. I have people all over the place, but uh, so I just I want I love this. I love this view of the bridge, the LED lit bridge uh, of Texas Street that bridges uh, Shreveport and Bossier City. I love I love this. So. Uh, I just wanted to come down and peek at how it's looking through the trees and just kind of like enjoy it. Find some serenity. Find in this world of everything that's going on, uh, you know, uh, COVID pandemic and then wherever the hell the monkeypox thing is, I, I don't know. And then, uh, you know, economy and this and that. And so there with everything that's going on, uh, it's really important to find time to not think. And uh, I think it's important to find, I think it's important in these, you know, situations to find a time where you just come out and you find something that gives you a little bit of serenity and during that time you don't worry about the troubles of the world and the troubles in our own lives and everything like that uh, and I include myself in that you so it's it's so we don't worry about those things and uh, the reason why is because every once in a while we've got to unplug and uh, charge the old battery and the best way to do that is to you know sometimes turn off the news sometimes turn off the social media turn off the phone you know and uh, tune out oh what's gonna happen in a couple of hours you know that you're gonna miss out on in a couple of hours you know what I mean um, I mean, whatever. And if, if something did happen while you're having, I don't know, a, a, a well-deserved bubble bath or some relaxation or something what, in, the, in the period of what's going to happen, you know, uh, yeah. You know, of a couple of hours that it would take to get it's a good relaxation. There's nothing that you're going to be able to do that you're not going to be able to do two hours or even tomorrow. You know what I mean? Um, I'm not talking about procrastination. I'm just talking about finding simplistic rest for your mind and spirit. Which are... Uh, you know, sort of equatable, you know. <laughs> uh, so, um, and I love, I love this. I love watching the changing colors on the bridge. I think it's a wonderful addition to downtown and the lights across the river. And I'm at a place where I don't want to do too much uh, extemporaneous spending because I'm saving uh, so that I can move uh, from where I am. Uh, I believe if everything goes okay, there's an apartment that's available in, in, in a uh, building that I've been waiting for. For I, I guess I've been kind of uh, manifesting this for uh, a few years, you know, because with the, with the things going on in the world, it's taken that time. So, but I think I think all the ducks are in their rows or whatever. They're all like lined up or whatever. I don't know. But yeah. Um, 
like uh, yeah so I think I think it's actually gonna happen I was gonna move a few years ago and uh, the plan fell through not to another city or anything like that just a uh, you know uh, yeah a more modernized apartment and uh, and everything that it, it, it didn't uh, it didn't things didn't come together and the lesson in that is that sometimes there are uh, other things so check this out this LED lit watercraft boat or whatever that is so cool on the water it looks like a Star Wars uh, sand cruiser from Tatooine because I'm a geek. I'm looking forward to the Geeked Con that's coming. Uh, I didn't go uh, to the last couple of ones because they've been virtual and, you know, and uh, yeah, they at the very, very last, and I'm not going to go to the whole weekend. I was going to initially spend the money and get the, the pass for the entire weekend and just spend a whole weekend at a Geeked Con convention, but it's like, no, I can just go on the selected day. You know, that Friday is basically just for setup anyway. And so, then there's the show on the, you know, the stuff that's all day through Saturday. And then there's the, um, I don't know what happens on a Sunday. Maybe you go there and, you know, see some other stuff or whatever or whatever. You know what I mean? But it was like, what do I need a whole weekend for, you know? Uh... I think a day, I go there for a day, pretty much do what it is that I need to do. Uh, and so that that's what I'll do. Uh, save a little money that way. I want to enjoy life, but I want to reduce my extra spending. Which, if I'm already, if I'm already watching my food, uh, my caloric uh, economy, uh, and I made a lifestyle, then I know that I can cut back on extra spending, which is, you know, one of the things that I'll need to do for, uh, you know, moving expenses uh, that are that are upcoming, and uh, you know, all the deposits and things that, that switch over. I've actually put the deposit down on on the apartment, so there's other things, you know. Uh, you know, I'll be starting out. I'll be moving to an apartment where the utility is structured different. So, yeah. Anyway, blah, blah, blah. We've all moved before, so we all know that experience. And it can be stressful, especially when, like, at the, you know, trying to deal with, like, uh, a, a couple of different uh, entities, uh, landlords and stuff like that, getting them to sync up, hey, the lease expires where I am here on this day and so the new lease should pick up on the you know what I mean it's like you know I don't know you know <sighs> I love it I love this it's great to come out and relax and so today I spent the day you know uh, with a friend uh, not Worrying about the world. So it was a, it was a worry-free day. So that's kind of cool. And I spent the day mostly being uh, nutritionally economic. My day started with a hamburger uh, patty. I didn't have it on a bun. I had a hamburger patty. It wasn't on a bun. When I talk, I speak redundantly for emphasis uh, and for dramatic effect. And for dramatic effect, you know, like that. So anyway, and then I had, so I had the hamburger uh, without the bun. So it's just the hamburger meat. And then, and actually I was talking, I actually like talking to myself. I, I talk using my hands, so I like made the little hamburger patty, <laughs> you know, which shaped with my hands. I had the hamburger patty. Uh, and then I had a uh, nutritional bar. Uh, a few hours later and then I did have a Mexican food where I had uh, some chips and salsa and I ate the uh, potatoes that came with my uh, entree but then when I started looking at my calories I set my entree uh, the prop the primary bit of my entree I set aside and um, 
uh, carried that home, and it was like, okay, I'm reaching my, I'm reaching my limit uh, for the day. And so what I do in that case, and my calorie count, my carb counts, and everything like that, they start, they restart every day at midnight is when they start. So uh, give or take. And so that's something else. I'm not worried about food. But on a, on a day where I take a little bit of relaxation, where I eat corn chips and salsa and things like that, uh, I, I just don't go overboard that day. And it doesn't totally wreck my life. And then uh, I start the, uh, the carb count over at midnight. But that's basically it. God, look how beautiful those colors are. So, if you're passing through, well, we sure would, would love to have you stop and visit uh, our town. And if uh, uh, if you're looking for some place to go that's maybe not your traditional, a lot of like, if you come to Louisiana and you think tourism, you think New Orleans. Well, okay. Well, we have uh, things to offer, and we have. Uh, a lot of local culture in, in, in northwest Louisiana too you know so come check us out you know uh, and then uh, what else uh, oh if you love the game we got we, you know casinos for miles for real you know <laughs> uh, and then um, yeah but yeah the uh art scene downtown is really, really picking up, you know, um, so, I, I'm, I love it, I'm really happy with the progress that's, that's going on, uh, and the reason why I'm walking is every once in a while I'll walk and I'll make a little video and then I'll want to post it on YouTube and just talk about my thoughts, uh, so that should someone happen upon, uh, then, you know, it's there's no real point to it. Well, you know, you get to know a little bit about the inside of my head and uh, sharing life's little philosophies that we all have. That one, that's that's what makes the individual people of the world uh, interesting to me. Kind of getting to know a little bit, and you know, it's you know sometimes nice to do it remote remotely or whatever like this uh believe it or not these little video things they help me uh they help me relate to people personally too so i think that's one of the reasons why when the when the handheld uh internet in your phone and people could start doing stuff especially the video you know i really think that uh people grabbed onto that because it was another way for people to connect with each other but i don't think uh what happened in some ways where people just sort of used it as the sole mean of their the sole means of their connection with other people i don't i don't think that's natural i think it's really natural to uh, meet people face to face and say hello face to face and everything but sometimes if you're in a big city you're not like in a small town where like if I'm walking in Shreveport and I pass somebody on the street we nod and we smile and we say hello how you doing even if we don't really know each other it's still got that sort of quaintness to it but if I were to say over in Dallas that's not something that happens in the city part uh, of Dallas maybe in the more you know rural uh, suburbs of it you would do that in the neighborhoods where, where you know people and stuff like that but basically you that's just you know I don't know that's a you know we still have some of that uh, quaintness that will say hello and everything so God, I just wanted to come out and check out the the beauty of this night it was it's been such a hot summer down here and it's really starting to get cooler but we're not finished with the heat yet, you know. But uh, but it was nice because for a long time there was nobody really out doing anything. And then as I was coming over to the river, I saw the uh, teens and the young adults that skateboard at night. Uh, 
on the weekends and everything and there's some uh yeah so they were doing their thing and that's kind of neat uh i see that as part of my community you know uh as much as as much as everyone else so that's kind of neat it reminds me of that video from tom petty you know free falling you know that was kind of cool so and i don't i don't know if that song was a heartbreaker song or it was one of the songs that he did uh, as a as a side solo project i hear some whistles going off Sounds kind of cool. Okay, well, uh, wherever you go in your life, I wish you love and light, and please have a good night. This is C.J. Miller, Shreveport, Louisiana, signing off.